one and only rail of adamant in your possession there. To strike one's enemies from afar is really the only way, I think, and it's about as good a substitute for lightning bolts as you're likely to find. The trees underneath the earth foretold of your arrival at this very moment, son of Hades, and I have anticipated it. Hello, Fury sisters. <laughs> I guess we know the drill by now, don't we? Not that I don't enjoy our little arguments in my own way. I shall not keep you, Zagreus, except to offer you some of my power to improve your chances of escape. Now quickly choose and go. I've never heard anything like this. As good as you two sound, each on your own, you're positively wonderful together. A splendid compliment, my friend. Doubtless the fates themselves conspire to ensure Eurydice and I would meet and sing together, fall in love, and then be cruelly separated for some time. Now don't you start with that again, you get me, Orphe? Got our whole entire afterlives ahead of us, and lots of songs to catch up on. Well, you're correct, of course, my dear. If you'll excuse us, Sagrius, our calling beckons. You know, my kin, I had misunderstood that Nyx was your mother. But Persephone, I never took her for the sort to have an interest in your realm. Alas, that we never had opportunity to discuss the subject here. You wish to have a taste of what a war against me would be like? Well then, I shall oblige. So that's the way it is then. You capably survived my wrath and I commend you for it. Let us continue on, as friends and kin. Some members of the family up here, I know they haven't helped at all, but just don't take it personal or anything, all right? Think of it this way, you've got more of us getting along and talking properly than I have ever seen. Here he comes. I have returned. I had a feeling I would find you all alone out here. All in Elysium should know of us by now. I know, right? Glory and honor to you if you can vanquish me again. Come. I'll tell you, nephew, I was quite taken aback to learn Persephone. She was your mother all along. Just disappeared up here one day. Ran off, I figured, as she's got some mortal blood in her. But she was with your father. That rascal is my brother after all. He's never going to return to me, is he? He's in your father's service now. He's never getting out. Neither are you. No, that's not acceptable to me. None of it. How bold. So what do you intend to do? You're leaving anyway. I'll figure something out. But you do something for me in the meantime. Don't give in to what you're feeling now, all right? Achilles loves you still like you don't know. I'm past the point of making promises, but thank you for your words. I love him still, in turn. I pray the fates help you in your endeavors there. A challenger! Have you yet heard, monster? The Queen Persephone is back to rule the underworld in all her terrifying grace. Perhaps one of these days or nights, she shall be present in the stands to witness your destruction at our hands. Yeah, about that, she's my mother. So maybe watch your fool mouth with me, or else I might just put in a bad word. Oh, you disgust me, demon, that you would even dare to say such things about the Queen. Prepare now to be vanquished in her name! Drive quite a hard bargain, Sagrius, if it would keep you from your victory just for a bit of coin. The fearsome Cerberus accepts the satyr sack. Thanks, boy. You're never late, father. You would take aim at me with Exegriff. Then very well. Just then, uh, how about a very small, yet very deadly beetle landed upon Hydra slaying Zagreus, ending his attempt. Ah! Wait, 
It's you. Hope you enjoy your stay. Achilles, now that I have access to the administrative area again, I... Well, I have access to the archives, and I have some authority to void those under certain circumstances. So about your pact... I know you mean well, lad, and from the bottom of my heart, where once it was, I thank you truly for the thought. However, don't exert your influence on this. Not now, at least. The fates can twist intentions. I don't want to take the risk. You're sure? Well then, I'll wait. But I am going to ask you again. We have to find a way to fix this. Patroclus is waiting. Hi! How's your relationship with Nyx been lately, Dusa? She strikes me as a pretty intense supervisor. You getting on okay? Oh, Miss Nyx? I'll do whatever she says. Why? Did she say something about me? She did! Oh, why would you be asking otherwise? Oh no, am I losing my job? Hey, no, 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 it's not like that. It's just a feeling that I've had from glimpses of the interactions that I've seen between you two. I haven't always got along with Nyx, but I know she cares deeply about this house and everyone in it, including you. <laughs> well, that's nice to know. She cares about my work performance, that's for very sure, and I'm doing everything I can to live up to and exceed her expectations. Tell her that! I may not use those exact words. Back in one piece. Hey, Than, tell me something, and forgive the awkward question here, but are we good? I mean, between us. Any infuriating habits I should know about, that sort of thing? You know I don't have time to list all your infuriating habits, Zagreus. Though, if any of them were outside my usual tolerance threshold, I promise to let you know. All right? So then we're good. Because I think we're good, but I just wanted to make sure. We're good. See you, all right? Good. Each savage maw of Cerberus salivates in anticipation of the next time to feed. Ugh. Come get your gloating well out of the way so I can get back to this parchment work. It piled up in my prolonged absence. Not here to gloat, father. Well fought back there. I can't believe I got you. Nor I. Next time, the fates may not decide to favor you like that. If there shall be a next time. I'm thinking there shall. You don't know how pleased I was to see Orpheus visiting with his muse Eurydice over in Asphodel. Best of all, I don't think he's left for good. He'll just have some time to visit her now and again. Thank you, Nyx, on their behalf and mine. You need not thank me, child. Your actions made this outcome possible. I merely did what anyone in my position would have done. They were so happy, Nyx. You know, while it was brutal squaring off against the three of you, I have to say, Meg, I was happy you were with your sisters. Nothing like a common cause for bringing bitter rivals together, right? You have your pact of punishment to thank for our reunion there. We have to answer to its terms. But my sisters and I, we got on better than I had expected. I will give you that. So you've patched things up then? Going to start spending more quality time together and all that? <laughs> Let's not get carried away. A work assignment forcing our cooperation is not exactly a big step in the quality of our relationship. Let's chat a more batter, boy. Yo, hit me already. <laughs> <laughs>